everybody, welcome back to Connerty Meadows Farm. Today, as promised, we are going to up pot all of these peppers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to write out all of the tags that I need. I've gone through some of the tags. If I can reuse them, I will. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rewrite tags so that I have new tags for each of the pots. Because if you remember, when we planted these, we put two seeds per pot. So there's actually two peppers per pot, so we need to separate these out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. I like to do the tags ahead of time simply because I don't wanna be trying to do the tags with uh, dirty hands. And the marker that stays on the best is this paint marker. Um, I don't find that Sharpies will sustain their writing over the season. So that paint marker is the best one to use. If you've watched my previous video, you're gonna know that the soil I'm using has been disinfected with hot water. So we've done the same thing with the soil that we're up potting to. And I like to use these square pots as the next size that I'm going to. Um, I usually try to source them for free from our local gardening group. People are always giving these away through the season. So go ahead and score some free stuff. And this is what I'm up potting the peppers into. And then we're gonna stick them in a tray and uh, we will slowly start to put them outside in a week or so. So let's go over this to show you what I'm doing. You've seen some of me doing it now in time lapse, but I'm gonna explain what I'm doing here for you. So we have our two pots and we have our two peppers. This one is called Ice Age. Now, these are a sweet pepper. So I'm going to take it out of this pot, squish the pot a little bit to pull them out. And you can see here, there's lots of roots. They're pretty root bound in there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put our thumb in the middle and we're going to gently pry these apart. And we're gonna go slowly and gently. We don't wanna hurt them. And you can see, now we have the roots of each. So each of these is going to go into its own separate pot, which I'll show you now. We have our pots down here in the soil. I take a little bit of the soil and put it in the bottom. And then I'm going to take my pepper and I'm going to try to center it in the middle. And I'm gonna squish it, squish it down a little bit in there. And then I'm just gonna scoop up some more of the soil, kind of go in on one side, go in on the other side, and that way it keeps it in the middle. And then I'm going to actually tap the bottom of the pot. What that's gonna do is it's gonna help the soil settle a bit. And then if I need to, I can add just a touch more soil on the top because it has settled. And then I'm going to put my marker on it and put it over here in my bin. And we're going to do the same thing with the next one. A little bit of soil on the bottom, grab my pepper, center it, push it down a little bit, make sure that the roots are all down in the middle. Half the soil on one side, half the soil on the other side. That way we're in the middle and then Give it a little tap and that gives us a little bit more room to put some soil in the top. 
put its label on and we have a finished pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this tray and I'll come back to you after that. guys and that's how easy it is to go from a tray of multiple peppers in multiple pots to putting a beautiful pepper in a single pot thanks for hanging out with us on the farm we'll see you next time